Hello there. This is my trip to El Miro. It is located in Jaco, Costa Rica, right on Highway 34. My brother told me about this place and he said, yeah, it's a great lookout spot. You can oversee the ocean and the little town of Jaco and there's all these murals and paintings on the walls up there. It's really an interesting place. Um, so I should take a little hike up there. So that is where we're going. It's in Punta Arenas province, Jaco, Costa Rica, El Miro. So let's have a look. Uh, to get there, we have to drive. If you're in Herradura uh, or coming from San Jose area, uh, you're going to be heading south on the highway and you're going to come to El Miro. You will see this service station on the right. It's a Delta. That means you're close. And if you look on the left, you're going to see parking spots. And yeah, this guy here is in charge of parking, sort of. Park your car and then walk a little bit down and you'll you'll come to this sign, welcome. And this is the path going right up here. You'll see these cans and yeah, it's really nice. And this was a beautiful day. Um, the sun was shining, it wasn't too hot. And as you go up this hill, uh, you see walking trail and you see this little hotel. Um, the Mariposa, I believe it's called, and that hotel, you can stay in there if you want. I'll leave the link in the description, but this is a little ways up. You start looking out over the, uh, the scenery here and you see some beautiful sights, but of course, that was only about five minutes into the walk, and so I keep walking up this path, and here's some other things. Here's some cans for garbage and recycling and things like that. And you just continue to walk up and it's very peaceful and uh, there's plenty of birds and, and little critters and things around and very uh, filled with nature. And here's some bamboo and things. And as you go up about 10 minutes maybe, uh, you start seeing these ruins of sort of concrete arches and you, but that's not El Miro. You just keep going and uh, there's some water running down those rocks and here's those cans I was telling you about. Uh, so you walk up this dirt kind of road path. I think they also take horses up here. Uh, if you're lucky enough to find somebody and with a horse and you want to ride up on the horse, you can. Here's some horse poop, uh, just so you know, that is there. Oh, these are some ants I came across that were crossing the road. Anyway, you continue on walking up. I had a little bit of water with me, which I was glad, and a little uh, granola bar, which I was happy for. So I started seeing these paintings on the sides of the uh, wall there, and they're really cool, you know? And then I got to this part, which was some arches with some small murals and stuff. But my brother had already warned me. He said, when you get to a spot where you think it might be El Miro, it's not you have to keep going so that's like a little tease like a pre el miro uh, spot so just keep walking here we have a monkey on the wall and there's there's lots of cool um, sort of relief carvings into the wall into the concrete and painted uh, got some toucans here some parrots and things like that really very nice and you just continue walking up this path. I guess I'm probably up into about 15 minutes of walking at this point. And there's lots of trees and growth. And these are kind of like, those were kind of like pillars of something that had started to been at one point built, but of course wasn't finished. And here's some people on some horses that I saw going up. Um, yeah, the funny thing about Costa Rica, you find a lot of uh, buildings that were started and big ideas on building something and then they got abandoned and you see a lot of that so anyway uh, continue walking up and here's some more cans and things on the right and there's a private property gate there and now you know you're getting close and I came to this spot where you could go off to the right or off to the left and choose off to the left it's the higher ground 
And then if you look, as you go up, uh, a minute or two later, you'll see these balusters on the left. And then you know you're getting close to El Nido. You have to walk down this path. It's you know a couple hundred yards of balusters and uh, vegetation growth. And now you're coming towards El Nido. And once you get here, you will know it because it's just wide open. It's got beautiful platform uh, looking out over the ocean, over Hako. And um, you'll see a lot of paintings. So these are just some shots looking left and then looking right. There's this other little uh, pavilion area. So my understanding is that somebody decided to build the hotel up here and uh, died in the process. And so it never got finished. This is looking overlooking the ocean at ha Hako. That's Hako on the right. Um, beautiful, beautiful view. And yes, yeah, so the guy wasn't able to finish this project, but it's amazing anyway. And people have gone there and just started painting. And I guess they hang out there and paint and different different things over the years, paint upon paint. And so these are some of the. Um, well, this is a beautiful view here. That's me. Hey, how did I do that? Uh, vive tu arte. So there's lots of artwork here. We're getting to some of it now. Um, this is one spot uh, off to the right. And you see these kind of amazing and a little bit scary pictures too. Um, yeah, just there I am again wearing my Costa Rica hat. That's um, me and one of the paintings. Yeah, this blue man, I forget what he, oh yeah, so at one point where the stairs all meet, uh, there's these wings, and so I guess everybody at this point goes and gets their picture taken with the wings. That's what you need to do when you're there. So um, yeah, it's just really nice, and uh, I highly recommend going here, just, just for the view alone of overlooking the ocean. Um, very beautiful and it's not that far of a walk up I would say 20 minutes maybe 25 minutes tops walking and it wasn't really strenuous it was just you know kind of a hill but there you have to I had an alien there and here's a, a monkey and oh look at this guy hmm yeah it's uh, pretty interesting there's lots of different paintings if you're into graffiti and well, even if you're not, it's very interesting. You just see all the different styles and all the th different things that people decide they want to contribute to this um, artwork uh, area. Here we have a, a SpongeBob from, I don't know from where. This is somebody who's into martial arts and this is just up on a little part of the um, archway that you might not notice that there, I don't know. It almost looks like David Bowie to me. So, um, yeah, this is the floor. It's like there's like a tile floor in this um, open lookout area. And uh, so people paint on that too. And, uh, but mostly it's on the walls and in all the different uh, little kind of rooms that were started there, uh, built into this mountain. Hey, Gene, 21. And JF, oh, for a minute I thought that was FJB. It was JBF. <laughs> okay, there's a nice look. Oh, okay, so here we have, uh, when you exit, there's actually a path that goes up uh, further. And so I decided, well, I'm a curious kind of person. Let me go up this path and see what's up here. But I noticed that it got really kind of thin, and it looked like there might be some snakes and stuff. I'm not sure. I just decided since I was alone, I really didn't want to go too far up there. But... Okay, hey, came back down, and that's back down to the bottom, and there's our parking guy again. I don't know if you know these guys, the parking guys, but uh, they're everywhere in Costa Rica. Uh, watchy men, uh, that's what they call them, or uh, what's the other thing they call them? Uh, I can't think, caro, uh, caro, hmm. caro, caro, I don't know, I forget. Anyway, you'll see this watchy man guy, and uh, he'll park your car. I think I gave him, when I came back down, I gave him like a thousand colonists or something like that, which is about two dollars, and he was okay with that. So uh, just feel free to pull in there and uh, 
you know, he'll watch your car. So I highly recommend going to El Miro. Just look up El Miro in Punta Arenas, Jaco. Okay, hey, I'm Pete Smith, Pura Vida. Thank you.